you, thank you, and welcome to the second Perseverance Award Show. Tonight we'll be celebrating the winter sports season and our Perseverance Award winners. My name is Eric Chalinas. I will be your host and MC for this evening. I will be joined by my fellow athletic trainers here at State Sports Network as they present their award for their school winners as well. We want to honor our, our Perseverance Award winners because, you know, with COVID and everything still going on, we can't be in person, we can't present uh, at our awards banquets. So we want to come to you directly to present these awards to these uh, deserving individuals. And to get started with uh, this evening's events, we'll go to Program Director Sandy Snow to talk about what the Perseverance Award is. Sandy? What is the Safe Sports Network Perseverance Award, you might wonder? Well, it is an award that recognizes grit and determination demonstrated by an athlete to grind back to the sport that they love. When an athlete sustains an injury, not only are they dealing with the physical impact of the injury, but also the emotional impact. Safe Sports Network athletic trainers are there to journey with these injured athletes and guide them through the recovery and back to play. All Safe Sports Network athletic trainers are charged with identifying one athlete from each of their schools that they feel is representative of the award criteria. Now enough from me. Let's hear who these award winners are and about their journeys. All right, thank you, Sandy. And now to present the award for West High School, let's welcome our wonderful residents, Cassie and Tori. Ladies. Thank you for the lovely introduction. Um, all right, so for West High School, nothing about this athlete's injury was easy. To any athletic trainer, a quad strain is not a particularly bad injury. But this athlete had just the right combination of events that a simple injury kept him out for about two weeks. Between re-injuring it during a game and life getting in the way of his rehab, this athlete's road to recovery was certainly bumpy. But his patience became key in getting him back on the court. And once we found just the right combination of modalities and supportive care, it was smooth sailing. His first game back was filled with trepidation for his new legs, but soon he was back putting up points and towering over the rest of his competition once more. And just in time for playoffs, where he played an integral role in the team dynamic on the court. Cassie and I are thrilled to present the Safe Sport Network Perseverance Award to Sheer Akkad. On behalf of Manchester West High School, I would like to congratulate Sheer Akat for winning the Winter Season Perseverance Award for boys basketball. I would also like to express my gratitude and appreciation to the trainers of Safe Sports for all their work in keeping our athletes well and getting them back on the mend after suffering an injury. And I would also like to or express my gratitude for the donors of Safe Sports, which keeps the program up and running. Congratulations, Sheer. Now, to present the award for Trinity High School, let's swing it over to the man, David Caponegro. David. Thanks, Eric. So, we all know it's hard for an athlete to stay motivated when they are slipping free but not seeing any cognitive progress. When it seems like you aren't getting any better, it's hard to stay positive. But that was not the case for my Perseverance athlete. Uh, Charles sustained a concussion during the first game of the season at BG. After following up the next day, I told him about the average concussion return to play timetable, and he was very understanding. Charles was the most positive athlete I've ever worked with at Trinity. No matter the amount of time he needed to be re impact tested, he always came in with a smile and didn't complain about the process or his timetable. He was symptom free five days after the initial injury, but did not pass the impact test for another 11 days. Within those 11 days, you would have thought that Charles was the happiest kid in school even though he wasn't allowed to play the sport he loves. He was able to return three weeks later to the varsity team. They may not have won many games, but it was one of my favorite teams to be around this winter. I'm proud to present the 2021 Winter Perseverance Award to Charles Tremblay. Congrats, Charlie. I would like to give my thanks to Safe Sport and the donors, and I'd also like to thank Dave for all the support that he, he gave me to get through this. Excellent. Congratulations, Charlie. Moving on to Memorial High School to present that award is the lovely Madison Giordano. Madison. Thanks, Eric. This athlete suffered an ankle sprain during a basketball game early in the season. Due to his extensive history of ankle sprains, his recovery was slightly extended. This athlete was committed to getting back on the court to support his team for playoffs. He showed up every day for rehab and did his home exercise plan even slush buckets. 
This athlete's dedication to his recovery and positive attitude makes him the perfect recipient for this award. The 2021 winter season Safe Sports Network Perseverance Athlete is Cam Pollock. Congratulations, Cam. Thank you, Safe Sports, for the awards, and thank you, Madison, for helping me get back on the court. Congratulations, Cam, on your award for this season. Let's move on. To Gosstown High School, and to present that award is Chantel. Chantel? Hi, I'm pleased to present the Gosstown High School Safe Sports Network uh, Perseverance Award to a hardworking, determined, and uh, motivated individual. She's a great teammate and is always the first and last person off the court. So, this person sustained a hip flexor strain before the season even started. And she came in in her off season, started getting her home exercise program. And then once the season started, um, she had a little setback where she re-injured her hip flexor. So she battled through and worked every day, came in, saw me every day to work and um, get back to the sports that she loves. She also, this is not her first injury. Um, she is a hardworking individual and takes a beating on the court. Um, so after every game, she stops in and does any maintenance exercises or any any maintenance activities that she needs to do um, to help her uh, stay positive on the court and make a positive impact for her team. So I am pleased to announce that this year's Perseverance athlete uh, goes to Emily Peterson um, from Gulfstown Girls Basketball. On behalf of the Gulfstown High School Girls Basketball Team, we would like to congratulate Emily Peterson for being awarded as this year's Perseverance Award winner from Safe Sports Network. Congratulations, Pete. We are all so proud of you. Next to present the award for Central High School is my good friend, Abriana. Abe, go ahead. Hi, I am presenting the award for the Central Perseverance athlete who suffered a lateral ankle sprain early in a JV basketball game. From that moment of initial injury, they were determined to return to play and help their team. They responded really well to the rehab exercises they were given, listened to all home care instructions, and were able to bounce back quickly. Their determination and focus on strengthening their ankle to return to play is what makes them a great recipient. I am happy to present the Safe Sports Network Perseverance Award winner for the Central High School Winter Sports to Abu Diamande. Congrats to you. Hi, my name is Mike Padmore, head coach for Manchester Central's uh, JV Boys Basketball Program. I want to congratulate Abu Dimande uh, on winning uh, the Winter Perseverance Award. Uh, after coming back from a real tough ankle sprain, uh, uh, came back into the game, uh, helped us win a real tough game against against Concord. Um, and of course, I also want to spend a, uh, send a special thank you to our trainer, Abe D'Onofrio, uh, and the Safe uh, Sports Network for all their help this season, uh, keeping our players safe and healthy. Uh, thanks for a great season. Congratulations, Abu. All right, let's move on to Campbell High School, and to present that award is Chip Cloutier. Chip? Thank you, Eric. Uh, this year, presenting the award uh, for Campbell High School's Perseverance Athlete was actually quite simple. Uh, tenacious is the word I would use to describe the, uh, the recipient of this year's award. She, as a three-season athlete, she puts 110% into everything she does, athletics, schoolwork, friendships, uh, team leadership. Um, she sprained, she suffered a lateral ankle sprain towards the end of basketball season. I gave her crutches, actually forced crutches on her. She used them for about uh, two days. Uh, looked like she was ready to chew her foot off when she came back in the second day. Uh, we decided the crutches needed to go. She said, I think I would make it better by walking on it. So basically she was self-diagnosis, self-treating and taking care of this herself. I kind of stood there and watched. Um, we did the, uh, we did the usual exercises, uh, the ice baths, the, this, the, that, everything went well. She couldn't wait to get back. And before all of the ugly black and blue and purple and yellow and green colors and swelling were all gone, she was back on the court fully taped up and playing in, uh, in the playoffs. Uh, she, by the way, she was um, named all state uh, first team for girls basketball this year. 
as I said, she's a three th- three season athlete. She does. Uh, she's a state qualifier, I believe, a state champion high jumper, uh, and she was on our uh, playoff contention uh, volleyball team this year. This year's recipient of the Perseverance Award for Safe Sports Network is Tori Allen. Thank you, Safe Sport Network, for the honor of selecting me the Campbell High School 2021 Winter Season Perseverance Award winner. All right, to present the award for Bishop Brady High School, let's welcome in Caitlin Metzger. Caitlin? Thank you, Eric. This athlete suffered a distal fibula fracture during a basketball game near the end of the 2019-2020 winter season. Unfortunately, shortly after her injury, the COVID-19 shutdown occurred, making her recovery much more difficult. However, neither the injury nor COVID-19 could keep this athlete down. She stayed in touch with her athletic trainer and completed her rehab virtually to prepare for the return to sports this fall. This past fall, this athlete successfully returned to sports after a very long recovery process. She was a force on the field hockey field and was an NBA range three-point threat on the basketball court. Despite several setbacks along the way and a couple of new injuries arising throughout the year, this athlete never gave up and maintained her positive attitude. In the end, all of this athlete's hard work and perseverance paid off as she helped secure a state championship win for both field hockey and basketball this year. This year's recipient for the Bishop Brady Safe Sports Network Perseverance Award goes to Hallie Laramie. Congrats, Hallie. I just wanted you to know that I really appreciate everything you've done for me and thank you sincerely for your contributions. Next, to present the award for Bishop Girton High School, let's bring in Sarah Horn and Beth Lewis. Ladies, take it away. Thanks, Eric. So this athlete is a freshman basketball player that suffered a moderate sternoclavicular ligament sprain pretty early in the winter season after a collision during practice. Unfortunately, she was out of activity for about three weeks to avoid further injury before she could start her road to recovery. Ashton was eager to get back on the court and came to the AT room to start a strengthening program with the BG athletic trainers. Ashton continued to have a great attitude and show up day after day to help strengthen that shoulder to eventually get back on the court for a full practice. With exercises and just a few shoulder spikers, Ashton was able to return to the rest of her basketball season and help the JV girls basketball team return for an undefeated season. Congratulations to Ashlyn Garrett for winning the winter season SSN Perseverance Athlete Award. Thank you, BGAT, Sarah and Beth, for getting me through the basketball season. All right. And now that just leaves the Bedford High School Perseverance Award winner. And I will present that. So the Safe Sports Perseverance Award winner for Bedford High School will go to an athlete that suffered an ankle injury at his away basketball game. He checked in with me the next day and was very devastated to find out that he'd be missing some time because he is just that, just the complete athlete and just wants to play but after assuring him that he'd be ready and be able to come back in this season he made this his mission to work hard with his rehab he would constantly check in with me every other day and keep me up to date with his exercise that he's been doing at home but it all paid off in a few weeks where he was able to rejoin his team and get back to playing so for this bedford winner we'd like to congratulate dylan lafferty for winning the Safe Sports Network Perseverance Award for the season. Congratulations, Dylan. I just wanted to thank the Safe Sports Network, the donors, and Eric, and everyone for helping me come back from my ankle injury and get back on the court as fast as possible. All right. Well, thank you for all who have joined. And we just want to give a, a quick special message from our executive director, Amy Hollingworth. So, Amy, go ahead. Thanks, Eric. I just want to extend a congratulations to all of the winter 2020-2021 Safe Sports Perseverance athletes. Uh, Very deserving young athletes in all of the schools and good work. And I also would like to extend a thank you to our sponsors for the Perseverance Award, Apple Therapy and New Hampshire Orthopedic Center. So thank you guys and congratulations to everyone. Yes, congratulations to all of our winners for their accomplishments this past season. 
I know I can speak for most of the staff uh, that we are very much looking forward to having a spring season and we look forward to seeing you out on the field. So from all of us here at Say Sports Network, we wish you a good evening. Bye now.